I just want to give a quick demo of this uh, Twitter clone and we just say A, B, C, D, F. And it posts, you know, you can have multiple accounts. I have Bro Nifty here and then like a Bro Nifty 2, I think. I don't know, where is it? Bro Nifty, Bro Nifty. 2, okay, so there's multiple accounts. You can, you know, send messages back and forth and it's okay so it's got some web sockets in there various things like that but really what I want to look at was the um, the actual uh, uh, the, the data uh, the way the data um, is set up here, the uh, the data model. Excuse me. So in the data model, you have basically two users, and the way Reese has set this up in his course, in this for this, it's real simple. It basically all the retweets um, that you do are okay. Is this bro uh, Okay. All right. So. Let me just retweet like something else. I don't know anything like this. So all our tweets just aggregate under the user account, like right here. And then um, as far as posts, basically there's just a list of posts in chrono reverse chronological order. And you will see any content, any post content that is posted by someone that you follow. So when you go here, you'll say following followers, right? So these people, both of these accounts are mutuals. So, well, that's redundant, right? These accounts are mutuals. So each, the following and follower, oh, excuse me, actually, I guess the, I guess the first bro nifty does not follow the second. doesn't make any sense at all, that's right. So following followers, okay. Okay, so the first account is not following anyone, the second account is following the first. So when I log in as a first account, all I see is my info. Let me log out here. And then, uh, I think it's Bro Nifty 2. So Bro Nifty 2 sees both his own and and the other um, the other accounts tweets. So um, yeah. So as far as like these posts that are going to show up in the newsfeed, it's going to be everything that is yours and everything that is um, created, initiated, posted by the person that's on your follow on in your array of followers here. So follow ing, excuse me, follow ing, follow ing. So as far as the relationship, as far as like, and this is really kind of specific to um, Sean's uh, post about the guy talked about the fan out pattern and stuff like that, message cues. I guess you could do that basically, like send to a topic and then every subscribe, a fan out, fan out pattern is pub sub on a topic and a topic is just a message cue with multiple subscribers to it, so you you split it at the root, the the like you can say kind of like a hub and spoke. It's like at the spoke, you uh, or at the hub rather, like it goes into the hub and then and then it and it fans out to all the different subscribers. So basically, it's just a message queue delivered once to uh, everyone that is basically everyone who is following, everyone who is. Follow everyone who has a following relationship, like this Bro Nifty Two has a following relationship with Bro Nifty One, or just Bro Nifty. That means subscribe. Following implies subscribe to um, topic of tweet created by Bro Nifty. So 
that's kind of how, how that works there. And then as far as like notifications, these are just basically, du they're duplicated here to show that these posts also are related to some type of interaction and they will show up here in this list. So that's what all this means, notification. Messages are just messages. Same thing as a post really, except they're just delivered. They're, they're delivered by some web sockets and sustained or, or, or persisted in the database. So basically the real relationship here of everything is, you know, chat is just a channel. A message is a, uh, uh, an event on the topic of that channel. Notification is just a duplicated set of, 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 of posts that happen to be related to some interaction. And, but the real item here is users and posts. And posts are not necessarily recreated any, any number of times, but they're just displayed on the timeline based on a subscription, at least in this implementation. Okay, so I just wanted to go over this particular implementation and uh, thought you might find that interesting.